Okay, so welcome back to another Foxtech video, and in this one, we're gonna answer a question that many iPhone users um, have, and that is, if you can delete multiple apps at the same time or at once on iPhone, while there isn't a really a way to delete them simultaneously with a single action, there are several methods to delete apps more efficiently. So I'm gonna just get into it right now and to show you how it's possible. At first, let's talk about deleting apps using the settings app. This method allows you to see all the apps you've downloaded in one place and remove them relatively quickly. To do this, navigate to settings, tap on a general and select iPhone storage. Here, you'll see a list of all your apps along with how much space they are taking up. Swipe left on your app you wanna delete and press the delete button. You might be prompted to confirm it, but do that and this method is a great way because it gives you an overview of all of your apps uses in storage and you can just quickly swipe on those uh, apps and just delete them quickly and much more quickly than just holding them on the home screen and clicking the X or minus icon. Another pretty efficient method to delete apps is using the App Store. So if you open up the App Store and click on the account icon in the top right corner and scroll down to see the list of all of your downloaded apps, similar to the settings method, you can swipe left on any app to delete it and confirm the deletion when prompted. This approach is handy if you are already in the App Store and if you want to quickly manage your apps without switching to another screen. The uh, traditional way of deleting apps from the home screen has also been made a bit faster because you can hold press on uh, the home screen until the app icon starts to shake a little bit. And you can of course tap the small minus sign that appears on each app and just click delete it that way. Uh, but yeah, it's not at the same time or at once. It is definitely faster than the regular one at a time method. Of course, it's important to say that these methods do not require any third-party apps. Everything can be done with built-in features. And obviously, in case you want to delete every single app on your iPhone, just reset and erase all content from the settings as if you were selling the iPhone. But I assume that you don't want to do that. But that is going to be about it from me. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.